six police investigation into the pilots. Reports suggesting that the Malaysian police searched the homes of the MH370 crew are not true. And the Royal Malaysian Police have issued a statement to that effect. Finally, Malaysia's response. I want to touch on the question of Malaysia's response. First, this situation is unprecedented. MH370 went completely silent whilst over the open ocean. We are in the middle of a multinational search involving many countries and more than 80 ships and aircraft. This is a crisis situation. It is a very complex operation and it has not always been easy. We are devoting all our energies to the task at hand and I want to be very clear, our focus has been on finding the aircraft. We have not done anything that could jeopardize this search effort. There are times when we have not been able to reveal information, for example, some radar signals, because they require analysis and confirmation by other agencies before they are being released. To release such information before it was ready could have compromised the investigation or the search efforts and which will add anguish to the relatives. Malaysia has nothing to hide. We have spared no expense and no effort. From day one, we have been in regular contact with our neighboring countries and accepted all international offers for help, to help. We have followed protocols as stipulated by the International Civil Aviation Organization since the incident began. Much has been made about the extension of the search areas. Some claim that Malaysia has slowed down the search. That is totally not true. In fact, we have intensified the search. Again, let me be clear, there is no real precedent for a situation like this. The plane vanished. We have extended the search area because it is our duty to follow every lead. And we owe it to the families. And trust me when I say we will not give up.